I couldn't let this day go by without doing a Baby Yoda. Everybody's got Baby Yoda on their mind because he's so cute. of cardboard um, the cardboard this is actually chipboard though it's kind of a, a brown paper but you can certainly use like a piece of cardboard find uh, an old cracker box and cut it up get some help cut it cut it so you have the long sides you can use a cereal box or if you happen to have this brown thicker paper like I do you can use this thicker paper for Yoda and uh, let's talk about the other supplies. So we've got the brown paper here. Okay, you're gonna need two pieces because you're cutting out one. This Yoda is two pieces there, okay? You're going to need a pencil. Perhaps you need an eraser, a Sharpie. And then I'm using oil pastels, but you can definitely use crayons as well. Um, pink, white, purple, I got a couple different greens, one's darker, one's a little lighter, a very dark blue, and a black. Now this is optional. You don't need to have this, but if you are using oil pastels, we're going to have a really cool technique I'm going to show you later, and um, this is with a little bit of oil. It can be baby oil or canola oil, but I do like using this. And if you do use the oil, you're going to need a brush to go with it but if you don't have oil pastels and you're just using crayons or markers or even paint obviously you wouldn't need the oil so gather your supplies and catch me back here so let's get started we're gonna start by looking for the shapes that we would see in Yoda and the first shape would be his head and it's not quite a circle it's kind of an oval. Do you see that? Probably not. Let me make it darker. And that's about where I want to do it on my paper because I want to leave room for his body and we're going to be cutting him out a little later anyway. So we're going to start about a little higher than half of the paper. In fact, I think the bottom of this oval would be right where half the paper is. So that would be a good place to start. Um, everybody's is gonna be a little different because you're using different materials. You know, you could be using this this chipboard like I have, or you could have cut, cut up um, a cereal box. It doesn't really matter what size it is as long as it looks, you're happy with the proportion. Okay, so now we're gonna do his ears. Yoda is definitely known for his ears. You could just draw the ears and nothing else and people would know that you're drawing Yoda. So at the top of his head, I'm going to start by drawing a kind of a curved line coming out and a curved line following that line. This is going to be like his ear fold. And this is his bottom of his ear right there so like when we get into coloring that'll be a little pinker and that's a little greener up there I'm gonna hold it real close because I know I think it's a little far away for you to see there you go and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side drawing that little fold of his ear and then the underneath see already that looks like Yoda so the next thing about Yoda is he's wearing that big furry coat right and it actually comes way out towards like his ear it's not just at his neck and I'm just gonna it's it's almost a rectangle in shape but you can see that I've added a little curve to it because it's material and material flows. It's not so stiff and straight like a robot. That's why we had to put a little curve in there. 
And then I'm going to draw kind of in there, not, not towards the end. It's just going to be a long line. And that's going to be where his, um, his jacket, his coat is. See that? There. And then here, I'm going to draw two lines that kind of flare out a little bit. And then it's got to have a little puffiness at the end of his coat, both sides. Notice that they're not straight down. They are flaring out a little bit. And then his, I'm going to do a little tiny hand and get real close up so you can see what I did there. I'm gonna do that on both sides. So it's like a little thumb and then his hand. And then we gotta start with his nose in here. I like to start in the center. And he's got a very tiny nose. And it is kind of an oval as well. We're gonna get into doing some more shapes in there when we color, but we're just getting those basic shapes in. So we got his, his nose in there and then he's got Yoda's known for these big big eyes and they're kind of like an almond shape so draw a little harder forget sometimes that the camera doesn't always pick it up but you know it's like anything when you're drawing you should always draw in sketch mode I tell you guys this all the time if you're watching my videos to get into sketch mode because if you don't like something like see I don't think those eyes match exactly and being that I'm in sketch mode I'm able to erase it if you if you press too hard it's harder to erase so it's better to do it so gentle that it's almost like a ghost writing okay so I'll color those in a little bit later we'll get them a little better but I'm happy with that now I'm gonna um, draw his mouth. Now his mouth comes way out, kind of in the middle of his eyes. It's a little too far. And he, he doesn't have a frown, but he definitely has kind of this dip on both sides. I'm bringing it in a little closer. And that's pretty much looking like Yoda because all the other little features that we're going to add, we'll put in later when we're coloring it in. So I'm going to let you get caught up on, on him now and come on back to me. One little thing I forgot is that we need to add his, he kind of had this little thing right there. We'll color that in later. Okay. I'm feeling really happy with the shape and the drawing of my Yoda. Now we're going to color them in and we're going to go back to using the oil pastels or crayons, whichever you have on hand. Um, this is supposed to be something fun. You could just dig around and use what you have. If you want to paint them, you can paint them. You can do whatever you want. But for me, I've got my um, oil pastels and I've got, I'm going to start off by doing, I'm going to color this in. Now his, I'm using brown. His um, jacket is already kind of this color. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting a little detail into it. I'm gonna outline his jacket pretty much everywhere. And I'm not gonna do too much here, but I am gonna smear this a little bit just so it looks a little, I don't know, adds a little definition without looking like a harsh line. So I'm smearing all of it. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make this a little darker just because I want it to have a little definition and look different. And I'm gonna do it for his little for down here as well. I actually think I'm going to put some dots in it too. 
I don't know. I think it just gives a little more definition. And I think I'm going to do this as well. Just adding a few little, little details, right? Color those in. I still can't help it I got to do a little bit here but I did it way lighter um, than I did up here just because I, I think it really adds texture do you see how much lighter I did that I also noticed that I was using the long side of my oil pastel okay so you know what we forgot to color in before was Yoda's eyes. He's got really big pupils is what it is. That's all going to be black. Believe it or not. And in here, like where us humans, we'd have white. He had brown. So I'm going to color this in. I know it's hard to see, but if you look real close, he had brown in there. All right, so I've got my brown done. I'm pretty happy with that. And so now you need to be real careful when you are coloring in Yoda because it'll smear. This is very soft if you're using oil pastels. Um, it does smear. I like to kind of turn, turn my artwork to make it a little easier. And I'm gonna outline it. I'm gonna press real hard on this part here. Now I'm just wondering, um, let's see, I was thinking should I outline it with a darker, but I don't think so. I've got a darker green though I'm going to use. Uh, that makes me happy. I'm going to outline it with a darker green. Sometimes you got to play around and see what you like. I'm pressing really hard. I'm going to outline his head here too. Now Yoda's face, he has a little more of a chin than what we first drew. And I think that's okay that we didn't do it right away. But I'm definitely going to add it. It kind of has these little cheeks. See that? Do you see that little dip in his chin? Probably not. Let me get real close. Okay, so we got his little dip in there. I'm gonna outline the bottom of his ears. I'm using the darker of my green. And I think I'm gonna outline his mouth. I'm using the darker. Now I'm gonna come in with the, this is the lighter green. I'm going to do the inner ears super light, extra, extra light, because I really don't want it to be too green. I'm going to have pink in there. Okay, so now I'm going to get in his, I'm pushing a little harder, doing his face, around his nose. Sometimes coloring can be so much fun. I love using oil pastels. If you don't have oil pastels, you should definitely invest in some. Just because they're softer than crayons. Oh, see, I have a dirty finger from the brown. So use a clean finger and I'm just smudging, smudging in Yoda here. Smudging in there. I like it so far. Ooh, we don't want to forget. You know what? Come down here and do this his little hands. Doesn't matter if you use the light or the dark. Starting to look like Yoda, right? Now I'm going to come in here and I don't want to push real hard. I just want it to be a gentle pink. Not too hard. And I'm actually going to color in a little bit of pink on his cheeks because he, he had a little pink going on there. 
but you don't want to have like a full circle. It's just a hint of it. Let me get real close up so you can see. See? Now we're going to put in some fun lines in a second here. I want you to get all caught up doing that green and and his um, ears and all of that. Get caught up and then come back and meet me here. Okay, well, welcome back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come in here with my black Sharpie. You could actually do this before. Sometimes it's hard to color on um, to color on top of oil pastel. But actually this seems to be working just fine. Sometimes it's harder. And then I'm going to color this in. I think what it is, my Sharpie is kind of drying out. Let's see if I can make it work though. Get it. This is his pupil. dried out Sharpie. I like them fresh. That's okay though. I'm up for a challenge. The force is with me. Alright. I'm going to come in and put these little nostrils. See, I just defined his mouth a little bit there. Okay, so we're gonna come in and put a little more detail. He's got some fuzzy little hairs up in here. So I'm just using the white to put this in. And I think I'm gonna go right there. We're gonna add some lines. Yoda, even as a baby, has these Cute little lines happening. Tip of his nose white. Add some white on his chin. Smudge it a little bit. Just by adding these little white highlights, just bring it up a notch. Give some dimension. I'm going to put in, since I have the white, I'm going to put in little whites for his pupils, too. Right there. Let's see. You know, it's got little lines like that. Now, I'm going to blend it in because I don't want it to look like a mustache. See all the little white I'm doing? blending it with my finger and what it does is it just puts a little bit of texture right there but I don't want it a mustache so that's why I have to kind of smudge it a little bit come in with my dark and I'm gonna do some lines just like I said we're adding little textures He's very wrinkly. <laughs> A little darker right there. Where his cheeks are. I'm gonna smudge a little bit too. Got some very defined little chin. Adding a little definition in there. What do you guys think? That's looking more and more like Yoda. So that's that's it. We're just putting in a little little definitions here and there, and then the highlights, some low lights and highlights. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut him out. And why don't you pause me now, finish up on the face, and then cut him out, and then meet me back here. Okay. I got Yoda. I cut him all out, and we're going to be attaching him in a minute or two. 
to this other piece of paper that we've got here but I want to put them down for reference because I kind of want to have an idea I want to kind of see um, I want him to have maybe from this point I just want to have a kind of a rough idea we're doing his background the landscape here okay I think there's gonna be some hill, maybe a little hill right there. So, getting that in. And then this may be where he's sitting. Okay, so this is a pretty fun, easy, quick little background. And we're gonna, you know, Yoda kind of lives out there in that deserty looking thing. So, and this is this paper is already kind of looking that way. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna make some dark points in there and just some texture around. I'm also going very fast with my brown a little lighter in here in the back so I'm gonna do a little bit of white just to add some highlights I'm gonna be blending this all in in a second and how about some low lights let's get some low lights in there blending it in not pressing too hard okay so now I'm gonna take my finger I like to hold the paper and just rub my finger along and it's gonna blend in all those crayon marks or the oil pastel marks I should say See how it's showing just kind of some fun little colors in there. It shows texture. That's looking good. I'm feeling happy about that. Now we're going to do the background. Okay, up here the sky rather. And I'm using a dark blue. And I am going to press pretty hard. Okay, I'm using the flat part. dark and I'm going to add a purple as soon as I get a purple. So I got my purple. I'm going to just kind of go over the blue. It's not going to cover the whole thing. So I just wanted to have like a little peekaboo of blue. might even do a little a little black just to give it that depth to make it look like it goes on out there in our universe I like purple let me get some more purple now I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna smudge it along. If if you're using oil pastel, you, there's a really cool little technique that you can do. And I'm gonna show you. You can smudge this with your finger, but if you're using oil pastel, you can use oil. This is like canola oil. Um, you can use baby oil. But watch what it does. It smears it. And I'll tell you what, it's a little easier than trying to smear the whole thing with your finger. It just really does a nice job. Makes it almost like paint. See that? Isn't that cool? 
just smears it so easy and you don't need a lot I mean honestly this oil just rubs right on top of it you don't want a lot actually just use a little bit and I'm gonna clean my brush really good and I'm actually gonna smear and use the oil to smear this around now this will take longer to dry. You, you're gonna have to wait a couple days before this oil is completely dry. But once it does, you'll see that it just looks so cool using the oil. Don't use too much though, like I said. You, you really just need a couple little dips. Do this up in here. Isn't that cool? It needs a little bit of white. Add a few little things of white. Smear that around now, the white around a little bit. Okay. All right, so that's enough with my oil. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna use a paper towel to dab it off. Although, you know what? I don't have a paper towel. I've got a regular towel. But I suggest you use paper towel and I'm just dabbing off all the extra oils be careful not to smear it because it will smear so you just gotta you know don't rub your hand like that all right so there that is now what's missing in my background stars so I'm gonna come in here with my oil pastel and I'm gonna put in stars dot 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 and I like to see a lot pretty really want them bright might make a few that really stand out cool all right now we gotta put our Yoda. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use hot glue just because I have it, but you can use school glue, you know, regular glue. Um, I probably wait till that dries a little bit more because I don't know how well this is gonna stick to the oil when it's wet, but we shall find out. And I'm going to place him right about there. Isn't that cute? There's my Yoda. And because I did him separately and glued him on, he pops out a little bit and it gives a little more dimension. The best thing, I don't happen to have it with me, but is like a double stick foam tape to put that in there and it'll really make them rise and pop up and I think it'd be so cool. The only thing I'm looking at and I wish that I had done is how he needs little feet. So I'm just gonna put these little green right here. I'm not doing much. It'll look like his little green feet are poking out. I don't know why it was bothering me. Although he definitely can float, can he? <laughs> Anyways, I think the last thing I'm gonna do is spray glitter on him just because I think you gotta have glitter for the background, but you don't have to do that. He's all done. I wanna see your, your Yoda. So make sure you tag me on Instagram with the hashtag Gorilla Art Yoda. And subscribe to my channel. I'm posting weekly. I've got lots of fun things every week coming up on my channel. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Please give me a thumbs up. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.